It's the time. It's the Valley's Most In-Depth Weather Forecast video, the Tuesday evening edition on this uh, penultimate day of January. Tomorrow's the last day of the month, believe it or not. And then February is going to start with pretty remarkably nice weather, to be honest, at the end of the week and into the weekend and beyond. Let's start out this evening with a look at some numbers. You know, we did a little review of uh, snow so far this season last evening. Wanted to uh, flesh that out a little more this evening uh, because we have very little snow probably no snow of the accumulating sort anyway coming our way anytime real soon. So these numbers are going to be what they're going to be for a little while. We're standing at 21.7 inches of snow at the Youngstown Warren Airport in Vienna. Now average through today's date is 39 inches, so about, what, 17 inches and change behind average. We have had more snow than last year through today's date. Last year we had a paltry 17.5 inches through today's date on our way to a record low amount of snow for the winter season last year. Now, when you look at this year compared to last year, we've had more snow this year in the higher terrain of Pennsylvania down into West Virginia. And again, a little bit more in Northeast Ohio, parts of Southeastern Ohio as well. But in places like Cincinnati, Dayton, Lima, uh, certainly once you're up towards Green Bay, Minneapolis, it's been remarkably snow-free thus far this winter in a lot of those places, even more so than last year. And again, these numbers over the next couple of weeks, the, the departures from average are going to become more and more impressive as, you know, look at the pattern that's coming up next 10 days. Temperatures compared to average. Um, today was probably the coolest day we'll have for a couple of weeks. We had a high of 39 this afternoon. We expect 40s to be the rule for the next several days, and I think we're going to pop a 50 degree day or two towards the end of next week. Now, it looked like originally about a week ago, it looked like it would be during this upcoming weekend that we would have some 50s. That's just been delayed by four or five days, but the 50s looks like they're still coming towards the second half of next week. In the meantime, radar looks a little active this evening, but a lot of this, the bark is worse than the bite. This is a lot of virga, a lot of precipitation that's not reaching the ground. Could you see a renegade flurry or a sprinkle before the night is through? That's possible. But a lot of this is going to kind of dumbbell to our south and to our east. This is an upper level low spinning across the Great Lakes and it's taking a track that will drag a lot of this light precipitation just to our south and east as we head through the overnight for tonight. And so yeah, overall pretty uneventful night tonight. We'll even start with a little sunshine in some spots for Wednesday morning. But the final afternoon of January looks to be mostly cloudy, just kind of ho-hum, a little bit warmer than today. We'll make our way into the lower 40s. We have one weather system that we're going to be watching for the next several days, and it's not much of one. It's a cold front, and it's barely a cold front even. There's really no cold air behind it. But it's enough of a front or a boundary that it could spark a flurry or a sprinkle Thursday night. That's about it. I think it's south of us by Friday morning. And while Groundhog Day will start with clouds... We should end the day with some sun, and then it's looking just wall-to-wall -wall sunny for the upcoming weekend. This is a look at model uh, rainfall uh, based on the European model for the next eight days. This takes us through a week from tomorrow, next Wednesday. Uh, just very, very little to be found in our part of the country. And so, you know, we might see a, a trace of precipitation in some spots tonight and again Thursday night. That should be about it as far as measurable precipitation for at least the next week. And look how fast the cloud cover decreases at the end of the week. Again, we start with clouds Friday, probably end with bright sunshine in the, at the end of the afternoon, and hardly a cloud in the sky this weekend. And I think that trend will continue into early on next week, into Monday and Tuesday. So, you know, I, I posted on social media today that wouldn't it be ironic if we had a long stretch of sunny weather in early February of all times of the year, but then for the eclipse on April 8th, it would be cloudy. Some people thought I was being overly pessimistic, but I didn't mean to be overly pessimistic. I just, you know, wanted to note the possible irony because as I mentioned to our team in-house today, you know, it's a real crapshoot in early April. Could be a nice day. It could be 80 degrees on April 8th. It could also snow. We see a little bit of everything in early spring in our part of the country. So keep our fingers crossed for clear skies. April 8th, we'll be talking a lot more about that total solar eclipse coming up in early April. On future editions of this video and special videos, coverage on air, online, we're going to go to town on this uh, eclipse because it's, it's truly a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to have the path of totality move through northeast Ohio and northwest PA. All right, short and sweet on this Tuesday evening. Hope you uh, enjoy the rest of your evening. Have a great night. I'll see you back here on Wednesday.